Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to Palettes a Week. So today I am beginning another of my like author slash series week, which means every day for the next week I will be talking about all of the books in the Palitzer series by Anthony Trollope. The Palitzer series is also known as the Parliamentary Novels. Personally, I think the Parliamentary Novels as a name sort of makes a bit more sense for the series. Um, but there was a television uh, adaptation of the series um, in the 80s, I think, called the Palitzer series, which is why the books tend to be known much more now as the Palitzers. And that's what I'll be calling them through most of this week though like I said I do think the parliamentary novels would is a helpful term for them as well. The Palitzer family feature very heavily in three books in the series but not so much in the other three. The Palitzer series is a series of interconnected novels much like Anthony Trollope's Barsetshire Chronicles and over the next six days I'm going to be talking about each of the six books in the Palitzer series. I'm going to be talking about them in the order that they come in the series. Book number one, Can You Forgive Her? Book two, Phineas Finn. Book three, The Eustace Diamonds. Four, Phineas Redoux five the prime minister and six the duke's children i love all of these books a lot um possibly except phineas redoux which i think i just like i don't think i love that book but the other five especially can you forgive her the prime minister and the duke's children which are my three favorites um are all really really good and it's definitely a series i would really really recommend so as with the barsetshire chronicles this is an interconnected series of novels so it is not like a direct series although some books relate much more to other books in the series but all of these books kind of take place in in the same world, in the same system, with a lot of overlapping characters. All of the books have characters in that feature in other books, and all of the books kind of connect to each other. So even though each book has its own like individual plot line that is contained within the book, the characters do crop up a lot in each other's books, um, and some of the books rely very heavily on previous plot lines from other books. One thing that the Palitzer novels or the parliamentary novels deal with a lot is politics and parliament, hence the other name being the parliamentary novels. Mr Palitzer, who is the central character of many books in this series, is a politician um, and sits in the House of Commons for the Liberal Party um, and is in government. Um, and we follow his career through a lot of these books as well as the career of various men around him. We follow politics a lot in this series. The majority of books contain an election or two and a lot of stuff about Parliament, um, which I find really interesting and I think is in general really well done, especially in The Prime Minister, where I think um, the politics is explored fantastically and that's the book where I find the politics the most interesting. But along with all the politics there is all of Trollope's usual stuff, a lot about marriage and family and class and love and a lot about um, personal relationships between people and connections between people um, and all of the stuff that Trollope does best. One of my favourite things about the series is the way we follow the Palitzers. Um, the relationship between Mr Palitzer and Glencora is one of my favourites in all of literature. It is fantastically done and shows Trollope at his absolute best, exploring marriage and friendship and gender dynamics and power in the Victorian period, exploring politics and difficult people and family um, and so many fantastic things. It's just absolutely well done. But along with them, there are so many other amazing characters around them. Um, and I would say like there are some fantastic female characters in the Palitzer books. One of my favourite things about the way that the Palitzer books looks at politics is how involved women are in politics and how interested women are in politics within these books and how so many of the female characters are fantastic and are also really engaged with the political world as well. I would say as a series I prefer the Barsetshire Chronicles to the Palitzer books. I really love the Palitzer series a lot but I don't think I love them quite as much as the Barsetshire Chronicles, partly because as I said there is book four Phineas Redoux, um, which I don't love um, and which annoyed me in many ways. Um, and that's my least favourite Anthony Trollope book, so that kind of drags the Palitzer series down a little bit. Also, I would say that The Barsetshire Chronicles is very much concerned with um, church politics and religion, and I find that fascinating. The Palitzer novels is very much concerned um, in kind of place of that with Parliament um, and politics, which I do find really interesting, but I don't find quite as interesting as the church politics in the Barsetshire Chronicles. Also, I would say um, there are quite a few aristocratic characters in the Barsetshire Chronicles, but there are also a lot more like middle slash upper middle class characters, um, whereas the Palitzer novels is really, really aristocratic. Um, and sometimes I just Sometimes I get a bit tired of all of these people with a lot of money saying that they don't have enough money. Sometimes I want to read about some 
more ordinary Victorians and not just lords and ladies. But although I love the Barset Chronicles a bit more, I do still love the Palazzo series a lot and I would still highly, highly recommend it. And I do think it is a fantastic book series to read. I wanted to talk a little bit about like reading order for the Palazzo books and for Anthony Trollope various books as a whole. I would personally recommend reading the Barset Chronicles in full, all of those six books, which are The Walden, Bush, The Towers, Dr Thorne, Frowny Parsonage, The Small House at Allington, and The Last Chronicle of Barset, before you start reading the Palitzer novels. The reason for this is that Mr Palitzer, who as I said is one of the main characters throughout the series, um, is introduced in the fifth book of the Barsetshire Chronicles, The Small House at Allington. If you read the Palace of series first, you will slightly spoil the subplot in which he features in The Small House at Allington. I don't think that's necessarily the end of the world, but I do think it's better if you have introduced yourself to Mr Palitzer through that little subplot first, because I do think it's really telling about Mr Palitzer. More importantly than that, which is quite a minor subplot in The Small House Allington, um, the fifth book in the Palitzer novels, The Prime Minister, completely spoils Dr Thorne. So I would absolutely not read The Prime Minister until you've read Dr Thorne, which is the third book in the Barsetch Chronicles, um, because the ending of Dr Thorne is entirely told to you in The Prime Minister, because a couple of characters from Dr Thorne feature in The Prime Minister. So absolutely, I would not recommend reading reading the Prime Minister until you've read Dr Thorne. Bizarrely, the Palitzer series also contains some spoilers for Anthony Trollope's standalone novel The Way We Live Now, um, which I wasn't expecting at all and I got quite a like lovely surprise when some characters from The Way We Live Now turned up because The Way We Live Now is one of my favourite Anthony Trollope books and I wasn't expecting that. I wouldn't say this is a huge deal, there are minor spoilers for The Way We Live Now in um, The Prime Minister and the Duke's Children. If you read The Prime Minister and the Duke's Children and then you read like The Way We Live Now three years later, to be honest you probably won't even remember that you encountered those spoilers. Um, and they're also quite minor, they're not for like any huge plot points or anything like that, it's more relatively small. But there is a one character um, called Dolly Longstaff who appears in The Juice Children who also appeared in The Way We Live Now and I don't, I find it hard to tell if you'd be able to fully understand him in The Juice Children if you hadn't let, read The Way We Live Now. I don't think it's the end of the world if you read The Palaces before you've read The Way We Live Now, that's fine. In general, I would say like a lot of Trollope's characters turn up in a lot of his other books. Trollope's books are kind of all set in the same world. So I, I think, he, you know, you don't want to be too worried about it. But certainly I would not recommend reading the Prime Minister and Two Very Dog of Thorn. I would also highly, highly, highly recommend reading the Palazzo books in order. This, like the Barsetch Chronicles, is a series of interconnected novels, so you could pick one up and read it, and it would probably make some sense to you, but I wouldn't recommend it at all because all of the books in the series spoil previous books in the series. I would also say that the Palazzo books are even more closely wound together than the Barsetch Chronicles. I think you could probably read Phineas Finn and The Useless Diamonds without having read the previous book or two, and it it would make sense. But the, the, the last three books in this series, Phineas Redoux, The Prime Minister of the Duke's Children, they're not worth reading unless you read the first three books. Like Phineas Redoux is a very, very, very direct sequel to Phineas Finn. Like it wouldn't work unless you'd read Phineas Finn. The Duke's Children is a very direct sequel to The Prime Minister and The Prime Minister is a very direct sequel to Can You Forgive Her, Phineas Finn and Phineas Redoux. Um, and The Eustace Diamonds as well actually. The Eustace Diamonds is probably the one that is tied the least closely to all of the others. Um, but everything is tied together pretty closely. Um, you need to read these in order, really, from book one onto book six. And yes, that means you have to read Phineas Redoux, which is not so good, but you get to read The Prime Minister straight afterwards, and that is true Trollope gold. I feel like that's all I have to say. I love the Palettes of Books a lot. I'm really looking forward to talking to you about all of them over the next six days and hearing your thoughts on them as well if you've read them. So we will start off tomorrow with Can You Forgive Her and run on to Sunday when we'll finally be talking about the last book in the series, The Duke's Children. All of the videos this week will be spoiler free um, entirely. I will not be spoiling the books I'm talking about and I'll also not be spoiling previous books in the series, which means in some of the videos I'm going to be talking very, very vaguely about certain plot points um, that are spoilers for previous books but that should mean that everyone can watch the videos even if you've never read a Trollope book before in your life and you'll still get something out of them. And yeah that is it for today thank you so much for watching please let me know down in the comments if you've read any of the Palace series if you started if you're halfway through if you've never looked at them if you finished them let me know your thoughts down below and I'm back tomorrow to talk about Can You Forgive Her.